All right, welcome back to the channel today. Let's talk about how do you gain wealth? How do you get ahead and uh, basically grow your wealth, grow your money? Uh, one way is like right here. What I have here is a 2012 Toyota Sequoia. We originally bought this 14 years ago. It still runs great. Um, I used to buy shiny new objects all the time. Uh, cars, stuff like that. I got sick of it. You lose interest after a few months. The newness wears off and then you are left with a nice bill. You'll never get ahead when you keep dropping down huge sums of money on objects you don't need. So my goal is uh, we kept this guy and I also have a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. So that is eight years old. So we got a 12 and a half year old Sequoia. And again, it's okay. The clear coat's starting to go a little bit over here it's not again for four, uh, 13 years old nothing to talk about on the roof up here clear coat starting to go i'm going to uh sand it down i sanded it down a little bit to stop the little bit of the flaking and then i coated it really well with some polymer stuff and uh ceramic just to minimize and slow the uh slow the uh oxidation and peeling down but i'll sand it down again when it cools down and i think what i'm going to do is maybe just you know, mask everything off and just clear coat it. Put another layer of clear coat, two or three layers, and then buff it again. And then this will last a little bit longer. Who cares about perfection? I do not care what people think about my car, if it's shiny or not, but I still do take care of them. Um, you want them to last. If you take care of these things, especially a Toyota, it will last. Fluids, all the fluids. What do I mean? Uh, differential, rear differential transfer case, front differential if you have four-wheel drive, and uh, coolant, change the coolant, because that goes through your uh, your engine and it gets, uh, it gets old after a while. Oil, obviously oil. The rule that works that all mechanics, professionals who know Toyotas and any car, six months or 5,000 miles. Don't fall for this 10,000 mile BS. No, you'll get sludge and it'll just, no, don't do it. Uh, power steering fluid. You can just do a fill and replace, you know, fill and replace. You just pull it out, put new in, you do it a couple times, cycle it through, boom. Uh, keep your brakes good. Tires, of course, that's just wear and tear. So we got the fluids, power steering, radiator oil, differentials, and eventually transmission fluid. Uh, yeah, fluid ages. So anyway, this car on this side is fine. We got, you know, wear and tear, nothing horrible for 13 years. The worst part, living near a golf course, you get these damn hail-like dings from the damn golf balls. They broke the windshield once, the damn golfers. I loathe golfers. Golfers, They are the scourge of the earth. I'm sorry if you like golf, but geez, learn how to hit the ball because you're missing it the fairway by a mile. Uh, we got two here. Uh, I got a, I think there's one or two. There's one here. Couple on the hood, right? Uh, again, what do you, the new way to look at things, material objects, is that's the patina on the car. It, it's the character of it. Um, I just wish I wouldn't break the windshield now and then. With the head headlights, head um, headlamps, these are the crappy plastic things they put on the car so they can shave them. They do oxidize and turn yellow. Just follow the basic stuff you see on YouTube about sanding them down with eight, um, 500, uh, wait, 800, 1200, 2000, boom. Sand them down and buff them out a little bit, and you'll get that oxidation off. And uh, put some uh, plastic clear coat over it. Not the 2X clear coat, but the uh, stuff made for headlights. You get it from Meguiar's. Look it up. 3M or Meguiar's. Okay, on this side, we have a little more problems here. We got Boo Boo 1, and there's a Boo Boo here. Someone backed out and or something else happened where they, you know, kind of banged in the side of the car a little bit. Uh, I what I did, I didn't give a crap. I went and got it priced out. It just wasn't worth the headache. And insurance gave me a couple K. I said, I'll keep the money. And they said, do what you want with it. Just to go get it fixed. It's not, come on, it's 13 years old. And uh, I just, it's a gray car. It's dirty. I clean it now and then. But I just put some um, of the black on oh my plastic dip over it just to cover it up for now. Who cares? I mean, who are you trying to impress? And this one I tried to get out too. Little seam here. Big deal. It's not rusting. There was a little bit of rust along this, and that's why I put the Plasti Dip, just to inhibit the rusting. Uh, wheels are in great shape. I got some iron remover from Meguiar's. Took all the brake dust off. The, the wheels look great. These are 13 years old, right? 
Uh, let's see. Dent back here. Nothing wrong back here. So again, how to save money. Yeah, you can see the dent. Who cares what it looks like? I've, I've just given up because shiny objects are shiny objects. It's, 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 as long as it works and you maintain it and it runs great, I am happy. So that is my pro tip for today. You guys want to save money, you can go buy a beater. And if you are good with a DIY, DIY you can keep it running. Uh, but if you're always breaking down, then that's not always good either. So nowadays cars are way too expensive, 100K for this. This thing's probably 100. This thing now, a new Sequoia, oh my God, 90 to 110,000. No way. This thing was, I think, 35,000, if that. You know, if maybe, yeah, 30. I, 30, yeah, around there. I can't remember. It was not expensive. I mean, comparably to the, the day's crap. But yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, buy, some, buy something reliable, Toyota, Honda. Do not waste your time. Anything Stellantis made, Jeep, Dodge, don't. You just might as well just flush your money down the toilet. Oh, it's going to be fine for a couple of years. Yeah, you're cool. All right, Dodge truck, whatever, Jeep, Wrangler. All right. Yeah, two or three years down the road, pff, come on. They're even saying Jeep plugins. Keep them away from your house because they, they might catch on fire. There is actually a uh, notice out about that. So anyway, pro tip, get something that lasts. Take care of it. Just take care of it. If you don't have a, any DIY bone in your body, pay the mechanic. Get a good shop. Shop around. Ask Grok on Twitter, on, a, on X. They'll help you. Grok is really good. He'll go through reviews for you. Ask Grok. Grok will come back with all the reviews, the best guess on what's the best shop in the area based on the skill level of the techs. The reviews of the customer and the price point. Who cares? You pay what you get for. You, get, you pay what you get for. You get what you pay for as well with mechanics. You pay decently. You're usually going to get a good uh, result in an honest mechanic. Also reviews too. Word of mouth, eh. Don't go with word of mouth too much. Go with uh, reviews and uh, maybe go to a shop and do something small. Uh, do they over torque the lug nuts? Oh, I hate when they do that. The last shop I went to in Key West here, oh my God, they over torque the lug nuts. A Jeep Adventure place. I, come on, and they broke the bolts off the uh, skid plate. Just tell me. Then don't over torque the damn lug nuts because people have to get them off. My daughter, my, the wife, whatever. You got to be able to get them off if you need to change a tire or something. They're not going to eventually. You'll just call someone. But in general, the idea. Just do things right. Follow the torque specs. It's not that freaking hard. Oh, my God. So, anyway, take care of it. It'll last. If you abuse it, it's going to break down. The old toilets will last forever. Yeah, but you got to maintain them. You, the, people miss that point. you got to freaking do the maintenance. It's cheaper to freaking change oil every six months than to freaking um, replace the engine. Don't you agree? I don't know. Anyway, pro tip. It's not a beater. It's an original. And I heard the average people are holding on the cars now are 12 and a half years, so I'm right on with them. That's the way. Uh, barring any more accidents, I got a teenager driving it. That's why we have the side thing. That's live and learn. That's life. That's the cost of doing business, I guess. Um, yeah, the other truck is 2016, eight years old, run great. I'm not getting rid of anything. Uh, I got full collision on everything with Progressive. Also, to save money, shop around. Combine your policies. We had State Farm and Progressive. Uh, State Farm did not want to play ball. So we said, hasta la vista, State Farm. And we went to Progressive and we saved 2,000 bucks by combining the cars, full coverage on the vehicles, collision and everything. Uh, sure, they're old, who cares? But if it, if it goes, I'll still get a couple bucks for it, right? Right, if someone smooshes it, but God forbid, and they won't. All right, that's all I got. I just want to put this out there. I see a lot of videos about people buying shiny new objects and old cars overpriced. Just keep what you have. If you have stuff for like with the leather seats here, like here, let's go in here. This is, uh, there's another ding. Look, damn golf ball. So close to breaking my window. Yeah, I got the seats and I'm, I'm getting, I could replace these. I said, they're not terrible. Again, they're not horrible. I just put some, uh, some glue in here to hold it, the stitching together so it doesn't continue ripping here, right here. And then I put a lot of Meguiar's leather. You can see the shine. Leather conditioner on it, protect cleaner. It's a Meguiar's cleaner conditioner, leather crap, whatever. And I even did the steering wheel. The steering wheel starting to go a little bit. You get that, you know, UV destruction on it. You can pay a couple hundred bucks to get a new steering wheel and put it on. That'd be a fun project, but it's not terrible. Who cares? I mean, I, I coated this as well with the leather treatment and it actually smoothed it out a bit. It's, it feels a little like, not sandpaper, it's just rough. It's not that smooth feeling, you know, like old steering wheels get. It'll last freaking four more years. Who knows? That's what you got to do. What is important to you? Is your money more important to you? Doing shiny stuff, new stuff. This functions. It functions, and it's in great shape. Uh, that's my point. All right, I'm out. I don't know. What are you guys doing? How old are your cars? What are you guys doing? Are you buying new cars? I'm looking for a car for my daughter. I'm debating what do I do here. I'm kind of 
get a four-year-old car with 50,000 miles, and then I know if it's a Honda or Toyota, she should get like another 150,000 barring any issue and she takes care of it. So I'm debating right now what to get. Don't want to get her a beater because I don't want to, I have to know if it's not going to break down on the side of the road. It's just not safe. Um, that's the dilemma. How much do you spend? I'm trying to stay under 20K. Honda, Toyota, and uh, go from there. So next plan on this thing, I got the nice new floor mask just to preserve the rugs because the ones I had were crap. Uh, I got all LED lighting in the Sequoia, makes it brighter. So there's little things you can do to make your car newer if you're having a problem with, I don't have a new shiny object. Uh, again, I've just coated the steering wheel. And it feels, actually feels pretty good with that Meguiar's leather conditioner. The seat feels good, the cracking. I can do better on that. There is a way to... Um, get mineral spirits or something, I forgot what it was, you rub it on with a uh, similar paint and then it just makes it, I thought it was a sweet car guy did it. Uh, it. There's ways to do stuff, but right now I'm living with this because it's functional. Uh, what else is next on this? We did the wheel rotation, tire, and then I, like I said, I did the iron, got all the brake dust off on the inside of the uh, wheel as well. That's the back. Oh, next on the car, there's a nice dent. Look at the damn golf balls, guys. Look at that. But that's the patina, right? Overusing that word today, but again, that's my uh, mental thing because I've got nice things. But again, when cars start beating it up, and I was going to buy a pour to get that out, but who gives a crap? You know, if you worry about other people thinking about you, dents are cool. It looks like bullet holes, right? People are shooting at me. <laughs> All right, that's it. We'll do the brakes next eventually when it cools off down here. I ordered those, like I said, I made a video where to get those. You shop around the Toyota parts dealers. And um, some at times they pop up with 25% off, free shipping, uh, which is huge, and a dealer discount price. And you walk away maybe paying half on the parts. And they are OEM. Go with OEM on all your parts on your cars. Uh, even the filters, too. Just go OEM. They engineers design these things, and they know what they're doing for a reason. So stick with it. All right. I'm out, guys. I will talk to you later. hope this helps. Uh, go forth. Do great things. And maintain your cars, watch YouTube University to learn how to do stuff. If you feel uncomfortable, then go to a shop.